Lately we've visited a lot of different projects related to agriculture here in Sierra Leone because in the provinces that's the primary means of income for a lot of people. Yeah, we know that Sierra Leone is not independent in terms of food consumption, especially rice, cassava and other crops. This is the only institution in Sierra Leone that has a mandate by an act of parliament to develop agriculture and innovative technologies. One of our core mandates is to develop improved varieties and improved technologies and give to farmers. We use the international line as a male and we use the local as our female. We, into, we cost them, we force them to mate. From normal breeding or normal science, it tells you that if you take the percentage of this and this, put together in one. So in such, the progenies are always superior than their pedigree, which is their mother and the father. Slurry takes it a few steps back, whereas the other projects are focused on helping build farmers' capacity and teaching them the proper way to plant these things. Slurry is focused on creating entirely new hybrid strains of these crops that will perform well here. What I call my philosophy of 5FS strategy of sustainable tree crop production. Number one, favored seeds. The seed is an important part for sustainable production system. Number two, fertile soil. You properly select the right place to grow your cocoa. And I think in Kenema here, it's time you can have good soil for that. Number three, farm sanitation. So here's the disinfecting mm -hmm. the seedlings with ethanol. Number four, farmer's skill. I can do body, grafting, cuttings. I can raise it up in the propagator. You do not take the seed. Rather, you take the scion. It's like transferring the whole of that plant onto your own plantation because the genetic makeup of that is the same as this. Can our bosses, they can train us how to water these things or how to take care of them. Because we have a lot of jobs here. They can deploy people in different, different areas to do the work. Because we are here to water this plant then, for that to, to, to brush, for that to clean the area, what are those plants? Number five, farm size, effective farm size. They shouldn't have less than five hectares. Anything below five hectares, I call that poverty perpetuity. With those five principles, you can guarantee first, the yield, farm level yield, two, on the national output, three, it will affect the global market in terms of the volume push in the global market, and overall sustainability. The farmer will pay school fees, the farmer will eat better nutritious food, the farmer will look for perhaps electricity or gin. So the idea is to increase production, improve economy overall throughout the country so the farmers can benefit in order to be independent. Food